Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I haven't seen you in such a long time, so I thought I'd just get on here and give you a little update. We were going to do a live stream this weekend with Jim on his channel, and like a double live stream on Saturday, but I was not feeling good, and I'm mostly not feeling good at night. I, you know, I occasionally wake up not feeling well. A lot of times the rest does help. Um... I'm sorry that I'm coming to you from bed, but sorry, excuse me, but, um, in the living room, it's hard to vlog. Um, mom comes out and spends the day with me, so I don't really have the privacy and I don't want to take the time away from her. And then when she does go take her nap, I have to kind of be super quiet. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, catch 22. But tonight I wasn't feeling good, so I came to lay down. Uh, not sleep, just lay down a little earlier than bedtime. Um, there is no rhyme or reason to it these days. I, you know, it's nothing that I'm eating or not eating because I'm really... I don't have much of an appetite. I do make myself eat breakfast because I have to take medicine with breakfast. Um, but whether it's like a small bowl of oatmeal with protein powder or eggs or... Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. Sometimes a protein shake. Um, I always have to put something in my stomach with breakfast. Um, the new chemo is kicking my butt. If you guys are interested or didn't know that I started a new chemotherapy. It is still a daily oral medication, twice a day. Um, this one I don't have to, like, get up early and uh, take. Um, the other one was once a day and I had to, like, have it, I don't know, three or four hours before food or two hours before food or four hours after food or something this one isn't but it does have um a very high side effect of making you very lethargic um and it's not just like tired eyes or a tired brain it's like tired muscles and the first um week that i started it i felt awful all over but i realized i had also gotten my flu shot and sometimes the flu shot gives me achy joints. So it was like, I was thinking like, oh gosh, this chemo. But then I realized, let me, let me wait it out and talk to the doctor. And the doctor was like, you know, take your pain meds and that type of thing. But, um, yeah, once, once that went down, uh, then, um, it was fine. After like a week, I started to feel better. Um, and I realized that's probably what it was. <laughs> um, I don't know how much weight I've lost so far. But I did mention in a live stream on the vlog channel that I knew that I had lost weight from um, from April to October. It was the six months that I had between um, orthopedic surgeon appointments and my primary, like my annual physical plus my follow-up, um, that I lost 30 pounds in that um, six months. And I didn't even, like, wasn't even like trying so kind of thing um just being able to move more but right before I went to see both the surgeons I had a pain in my back that was mysterious it was in my bottom right lung back behind that rib and it hurt just so bad and x-rays took x-rays and x-rays didn't show anything but um like some congestion in that lung, like that bottom lobe. Um, but I went to my primary and she did uh, like an exam and then they, she sent me for the chest, chest x-rays and everything um, bone-wise, skeletally looks great. Um, she can't think of the pain just being anything other than that congestion. She said, I, pipe, I might be in a muscle spasm, but oh my gosh, it's so much pain. It takes my breath away. And it's like, um... Yeah, I don't know about the muscle spasm, but we'll see. But that has also gotten a lot better. Um, we had, I started laying um, switch sides with Jimmy in the bed for a while so that I can lay on that side because that side was hurting. Then I developed indigestion from not laying on the side like on my left. Can't win for losing. I went to the ENT and she gave me a bunch of stuff from my mouth because my mouth is really bad. Um, mucositis everywhere, my nose, my eyes, my mouth. And then my nether regions. Um, but um, they're also 
um, getting better. So that's good. Um, I'm vlogging. It comes and goes. Um, it comes and goes. Same with my appetite. Um, I do have to remember to eat. And a lot of times I just don't think about it. It's mostly like when the puppy gets hungry or if I see mom's going to go take a nap and she hasn't eaten yet. I'll kind of remind him that everybody has to eat. Um, um, so we've been working on that. He's been working on a lot of stuff for himself, which is really good. Um, he's did amazing for Thanksgiving. He's like a rock star. He just cooked, kicked it out of the ballpark. Um, I am finding it difficult to eat certain things, um, like before. Um, but even such things as like, um, peanut butter, the peanut butter feels really, really rough on my tongue. So I have to like, uh, mix it in with something, you know, um, fortunately I could still have ice cream, which is great. I have like, I don't know, two cups, a cup, a cup, not two cups, a cup of ice cream, like every day. Um, a lot of times I mix peanut butter in with it. If it's like a plain uh, ice cream, um, then it helps add some protein and also goes down smooth. And yeah, peanut butter and coffee is actually a really good combination, which is weird. But peanut butter and vanilla is nice because then Oreo can have some. <laughs> um, what else? I'm moving really well. I mean, the pain is obviously, and the exhaustion is obviously things that come and go that can really inhibit my movement. Um, but I try, you know, every day I make sure I at least go out on the couch if it's a bad day. If it's a good day, I'll go out on the kitchen table and I'll cook or I'll help or, um, you know, food prep, whatever we can do. Um, I know you guys haven't seen much about me in a while, so I figured I'd fill in on that. And then the big news is our move to Colorado was pushed back because our bathroom exploded. I mean, there's no other way to say it. I say it. It started off by it overflowed and it wasn't, it wasn't, it was not draining. Like we weren't able to plunge it, which is not normal. Um, so we called a plumber and it was just going to be a couple of hundred dollars to fix the flange. And I went to go take the flange out and I noticed the pipe going to the, through the house wall is, was cracked. So then that's going to make it another couple hundred dollars. And then they snaked that and found out that there was a tree growing and um, through the pipe that goes out to the street. And they had to dig that up and replace that. And then they found out that all the piping in all the house was all wrecked. Um, and they had to replace all of it. And it's a lot of money. It's more, it was our move money plus our packing money plus down payment on the house. <laughs> So, uh, mom just said she wants to put it all on hold for a little bit and, uh, you know, we'll figure that out. Um, but in the interim, one day he came in and it was flooded so bad, it backed up from sewage, from like other people's sewage, that, um, we had to get the insurance company involved and ServPro came out and they cl cleaned up and they did the remediation, but then they also had to take like two feet of sheetrock out of the walls with some insulation and they took up all the flooring and they took out the vanity was wrecked because uh, it was particle board and basically my bathroom has been sitting like that for a couple of months now um it's very taxing on us like it's straight it's strenuous our house is in disarray like no matter how much we try to straighten it out there's just stuff everywhere because there's no place for it to go so there is that. Um, so hopefully here in the next couple of weeks we'll be able to get that resolved and have our bathroom back and then go forward with the rest of our uh, purging. Not really purging because we've done most of that, but most of our, you know, like a... Uh, no, um, staging of the house for the move and stuff. So we're going to have, we're going to continue with all of that once all that gets settled. So then, anyway, that's pretty much all I have to share with you right now. It is such a nice uh it's so nice to be able to catch up with you um it's okay and uh listen if nobody's told you that you loved you can always come by and hear how much i love you if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below i'm going to ask jim to check on these in the next couple of days and see if there's anything we really need to answer or touch base on or um yeah that's it um i don't know if you guys know that i graduated from wound care but 
in the interim there was some scabbing and dry skin that has opened and broken since so we're managing it it's not very much just a couple of scabs that we have to watch and unfortunately what happens is the wound care bandages take the scabs off and then you know we have to wait longer for them to heal and such and such but it happens you know i'm being careful i'm not laying on them and you know um keeping them clean and everything so that's pretty much it i miss crafting i miss creating i miss talking to you guys every day i kind of want my life back it's getting to the point where i'm just like kind of done with being sick but you know you got to do what you got to do um just keep fighting right okay i love you and if nobody's told you to love please always come by and hear how much i love you because i love you guys very much and as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, this is Editing Jerry. I just realized if you guys don't um, uh, want to miss out on what's going on, we uh, live stream every Sunday morning on the vlog channel. The link is in the description box down below. We just catch up on how things are going. Um, we do like a little Sunday morning coffee chat, but sometimes it's Sunday afternoon or Sunday brunch because it depends on how things are going around here. Okay, so if you want to do, it's just Jerry Ann Vlogs. Like I said, there's a link in the description box down below. And, you know, if you want to catch up, you know, turn off your notifications for that and you'll get a notification when we go live every Sunday. All right, take care.